explain what happened yesterday and what happened today. So, yeah. So, yesterday, um, after we went back and forth, you know, I basically took your advice. <laughs> and this is the part she did not like. I told her, I said, look, if I'm going to give you 24 hours. I'm going to give you Thursday. But come Friday, I'm going to actually just Facebook Live as I drop them off. I suggest you be there because I don't want to put this on the teachers or other people that aren't involved. If you're making this decision, I suggest you be there as the head so you can be the face of this. Um, and when I come, I'm going to be on Facebook Live and I'm going to record the whole process of you turning my son away from your school because he doesn't have to wear a mask. And as a pastor, you know, I just can't, I don't see anywhere in the Bible that this is biblical, you know, especially for this situation. I get it if it's a church, a school thing, but for me, it was a church thing, right? So that just made me so much more just, uh, just because it's like in the Bible, Jesus says the opposite. He's like, let the children come, not get out of here because you don't come have on. so just. It just yeah. Anyways. Okay, so but. so Enrique so Enrique posts this post on Instagram. We see it. We put it up on our Instagram story, and I I literally in my post said, I tagged I tagged the school. I told everyone to I put their phone number, their email, the Instagram. Oh, by the way, when she called me, she said, uh, "I'm gonna I'm gonna have to talk to you about this is harassment." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like how is harassment people sharing their you know that was the first thing that's actually how she opened up the conversation when she first called me was, yeah so so you so you have you have hundreds of people i mean they were they blocked me right away they blocked they were deleting all the comments off the page but i even said in the post that if this mask mandate is not off by down by monday we are going to organize a protest outside the school monday morning the following day, which is today, Enrique gets a phone call. And what did they say on the phone call? So, yeah. Uh, well, at first we got a text in the middle of the day, and it said, hey, just so you know, uh, someone's going to be calling you later on from the board. Great news. Wesley can come to school today with no, with no mask. <laughs> and so that was the first thing. I, that was, okay. I was like, okay, I'm not going to Dude, that's back. awesome. So I hear it. And then, and then I got the call, and it's basically a guy from the board He's like, look, my son goes to that school. He's in. He's not in pre-K because he's still three, and he doesn't have to wear a mask because he's in those smaller classes. I'm like, your son goes to the same school and doesn't have to wear a mask? Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't imagine trying to put a mask on him. I'm like, yeah, okay. Exactly. And then he's like, so I just want to apologize, you know, and, and say, you know, we, we, uh, we hear you, and we want to smooth things over with